morning, Thames. Hope you are all doing good. Happy, beautiful Sunday. Keith here from Commander Hoop Celtic. So, throwback player. Bit nervous doing this one because so many moms talk about, I could be here all day talking about every goal he scored for Celtic, what he's done for the club, what he's done in his career. It's just absolutely remarkable. So, happy 49th birthday to the King of Kings, Henrik Larsson. So I want to start this off. I was I wasn't a big Celtic fan as a kid. I wasn't into football until I got into around 13, 14. And Henrik Larson was one of them players that inspired me to watch football, to enjoy it, to realise how important football is in society, to people's mental health. It gives you such a good good factor, you know. So he came to the club in nineteen ninety seven, signed for Feyenoord. 650 grand. There was a bit of a legal case going on in Feyenoord when Jamsen bring him to the club. The rest was history. Literally, he scored in that vital win against St. Johnson in the Smell the Glove campaign to win us to win us that iconic league to stop Rangers doing 10 in a row. Unbelievable. Played in some... That squad was unbelievable. Simon Donnelly, Jackie McNamara, Craig Borley, you know, um, Tom Boyd. Some really good players in there. You could just keep going on and on about it. But Henrik was just absolutely magical. What he done for Celtic. Like 242 goals. 315 appearances. Four league titles. Two league cups. Two Scottish cups. Got the um, SPL Golden Boot five times at, when he was at Celtic. You he, he won the European Golden Boot in 2001. He was um, finished tour place in the 1994 World Cup with Sweden as well. Got to your way for cup final with Celtic, like, and won the most um, biggest prize in club football with FC Barcelona. He won the Champions League. Regards to that Champions League final, like he came off the bench, set up the two goals, made a massive impact to for um, Barcelona to beat Arsenal in Paris that night in 2006. I'll always remember it. Unbelievable, absolutely class. Like I just felt when you go back to that 2003 UEFA Cup final, we obviously were robbed that night. Porto were brutal, but he was a standout performer. He scored two cracking headers that night for us. That was the night when I wore my first ever Celtic jersey, the yellow NTL. Obviously, when we look at that yellow NTL jersey, we look at when he scored in the semi final against Bob Vista, when, we scored, when he scored against um, Blackburn at Ewood Park as well. You know, it was a remarkable season for Celtic. Speaking of the UEFA Cup and Europa League, he's the joint, he's the all-time goal scorer with 40 goals. Absolutely amazing to think. Like, this is the lad, like, had seven years at the club. Iconic moments. We all think of when, you think of Henry Clarence, and we think of that 6-2 game when the ball comes down to him, Sutton lays it on, takes a pass on Maru, Sutton chips a pass to keep her over Kloss. Unbelievable moments, especially when he had the, he had the dreadlocks, the NTL, Martin O'Neill's fourth season, which was class. And obviously that season we went on to win a treble. He was a massive part of that season. I think he scored over 50 goals that, that campaign. Absolutely phenomenal. You know, like even when he went to Manchester United, I know he was only at United for 10 weeks. He was he made a massive impact. Helped United win the league. He played with the likes of Rooney and Ronaldo. Ronaldo learned a lot from him as well. You know, he, did, he played with Ronaldo, played with Zlatan. Played with Messi, Ronaldinho, Eto, some great players in his career. He's, he's played with, and you can't take it away from that. Henrik was was absolutely probably the best striker in British history, no question about it. In British football, Henrik Larson would be up there. I know at the time Michael Owen was in his peak, but Henrik Larson was in a different class. Like even international level, as I said for Sweden, he just broke through that Swedish fold. The national team in nineteen ninety four in the USA World Cup. And then obviously um doing doing well in Euro two thousand and four, doing unlucky to get beaten by Netherlands and penalties. I remember watching that game. Sweden were a good side. They played in the two thousand and two World Cup against England. They play he scored against England in um two thousand and six World Cup in Germany as well. I remember that moment. He really was a good player for um for Sweden. The Swedish great you could say. You know, we had a good, lot of good Swedish players, obviously Lustig, Miyabi, but Henrik tops it, you know. I think the likes of Henrik Larsson, the best number seven we ever had. Obviously, Jinky Johnson was iconic for the Lisbon Lions, but Henrik, best striker we'll ever have. No one will replace him. When we go to that moment, well, that season, 2003, um, 
three and four season, his final home game for Celtic, competitive home game was against Dundee United. Struggled, struggled to get the ball in the back of the net. Eventually, the ball came. The interview after that was just, breaks your heart. Breaks your heart watching it. He's in floods crying. And they asked him, would he stay at the club for another season? They said he, he made his mind up. And then um, playing in the Scottish Cup final against Dunfermline and scoring two goals in the 3-1 win against them. Oh, it's just, you just look back at all these moments that Henrik done. It was absolutely class. Like, some of the goals were just absolutely magical. There's a mo- goal where the ball comes to him. He takes on his chest, turns and smashes past Rangers. You know, absolutely class. A couple of nice goals as well and other blocks as well. Him and Lou were um, mortar when he t- takes it around the, the keep and then slots it in. Absolutely class. Like, with the angle as well, how he done it, which is unbelievable. Even for Helsingborg, he played for Helsingborg on two occasions. Obviously, he went back and ended his career at Helsingborg. Absolutely amazing, like you know, he's just class. And it's mad thing when he took the move to Manchester United you know, at 25 years of age, helped you know, he scored against Martin O'Neill's at Aston Villa in his debut as well in the FA Cup, and then scoring the Champions League against Lille as well. It's just like Henry Larson was just absolutely magical. And I had I never got to see him. In his career, play for Celtic. Now I've seen him in a couple of charity games. I've met him as well, and um, it's just breathtaking. Even when he likes my Instagram post, I do be, you know, amazed by it. I remember the first time he liked one of my posts. I was just buzzing for days over. You know, like it's only a, a post on Instagram, but for a lad with his caliber, his legendary status, it's just absolutely unbelievable. And then um, I seen him obviously play against um, Ireland. 3-0, Ireland beat them, Steve Staunton's first game, he played that night, it's just, it's, I just can't get my head around how, how how amazing he was, you know, he really was, like, his partnership with Chris Sutton and John Hanson was absolutely unbelievable, you know, and when he, he suffered, he went through a bad injury as well, in 1999 against Leon, the UEFA Cup, he came back stronger than ever, he obviously got his hair cut then the following season, the iconic tongue celebration, you know, Larson is there, like, there's literally, no player in Scottish football, no striker in Scottish football will ever be at the level. He was the best bargain ever in football. And I think he like and I've just been a lot of free transfers, but Henrik Larson. It's just it's crazy to think, even if he scored I was going back to that smell of the glove campaign, he scored in Oyerbox against Dundee United he as well in the Coca Cola Cup final as well, like and scoring he scored in so many cup finals for Celtic, you know, it's just be a treble winner. Scoring your way for cup final for us, you know. Scoring in all firm derbies when Rangers are around. Scoring European stages, you know. It's just, he had everything. He really had everything. And any player that he played up front with, he always had. Like, he always said that Chris Sutton was the best player, best man player, man player he played with up front was Chris Sutton. His partnership was just absolutely class, you know. Him and John were just brilliant together. With him. Magic tree, as you say, you know. That connection was absolutely class. But we go back to... When he did leave Celtic, he went to sign for Barcelona. Dream move from him at, at his age. Struggled with injuries. His fourth season, second season, he thought he was he wasn't too bad, but um, he came back to Celtic Park. Barcelona drew Celtic in the Champions League. It was one of the most weirdest moments I've ever seen in football. Obviously, the King of King returns. The paradise comes off comes off the bench. There was claps. There was jeers. Then what happened a couple of minutes later, I was just, I'll always be in my head, I'll always be in every Celtic fan's head, when the ball, they made an error at the back, Celtic did, he chased the ball, p- took a pass, Marshall and scored, didn't celebrate, obviously he wouldn't celebrate, it was just a weird, weird moment, it just felt like someone died, it just went quiet, I was just watching it, I remember I was watching it on Sky Sports, because Sky Sports only got the Champions League at the time, and it was just, it was just weird, you know, and just, the same come back and do that like it's a job you know it's just it's crazy like a lot of people to this day haven't gone over haven't got over Henrik Levin I know it's it's a long time ago we're looking at 17 years 16 years like pl- a lot of people took a really bad when Henrik Larson left Celtic really bad people just couldn't get the grips that are sudden and sudden and hearts are going to keep at the level and they did they did you know like unfortunately the following season we didn't win we didn't unfortunately lose the league 
a helicopter Sunday, but we won the Scottish Cup. But Henrik was just, you know, I I can't even go through the amount of goals he scored because, as I said, I'd be here days talking about the goals he scored. As I said, the vital ones that stick out to me is smell the glove, two goals in the UEFA Cup final, the iconic lob, you know, them ones stick out to me. The goal against Liverpool as well. I know it was only in the end, but that's a massive goal that was against Liverpool. Um, like goals like that, then the all firm goals, like you know, it's just he had it all. He had it all, and it, Martin O'Neill got a, a lot of help. I mean, like he played with three different managers at Celtic, and Martin O'Neill got the very best album. I felt, you know, he had played in a magnificent team, that Seville team. Like we're absolutely class. Neil Lennon, Sylvian Petrov, Didier Gat, Jackie McNamara. Johan Mialbi, Douglas, Hartson, Sudden, you know, Sean Maloney, like we could go on forever here. Thompson, Lambert, still go on, <laughs> you know, it's just absolute ballers. But Henrik was the best number seven I've ever seen, you know. We all say Ronaldo and Messi. Henrik was before Ronaldo and Messi, and he'll always be the best player. So, like, I, I, I don't like when people say to me, who's the best player you've ever seen? We all know the answer is going to be Henry Clarkson. I try to back away from Henry Clarkson and try to go something different. Like, you know, it's just, he's just the bar. He at the bar. And no one thought at the time. Because when you, his debut for Celtic against Hibs, he gave the ball away and we lost that game. And that campaign was very, very crucial. People were coming to him in Glasgow saying, please stop Rangers from doing 10 in a row. Please, please. You know, like crying out. To stop and he d- we did do it you know that jersey that umbro jersey the gap in the the big square in the middle and then the umbro sponsor he wore a long sleeve a couple of times for celtic as well i know that doesn't mean a lot to us but henry was more of a short sleeve person he really was but um let us know what you think i missed loads i know i've missed loads because it's hard to take it all in i'd recommend if you haven't seen his dvd watch it i watched it about eight years ago and I was in floods I was in absolute floods I'm not gonna lie towards the end of it I was in floods like because what he done for that club what he done for Celtic what he done for Barcelona what he done for Helsingborg even had a massive impact on Manchester United at that 10 weeks he was there I know 10 weeks but as I said he helped he scored some crucial goals some crucial goals for um, Manchester United you know and for Ferguson to come in from Ferguson went in from many times, but to come in from at that age was just remarkable, absolutely class. So drop your comments below. Let us know your favorite Henrik moment. I'm sure a lot is will say the tongue, the tongue, the chip. You know that's just absolutely class. You know that was a belter of a, a belter of a goal. You know it just you could look at it for days and days. But I'll speak to you all soon. Take care. Roll on Thursday and um, let's just keep enjoying. We're on top of the league. At the moment, this is this is pretty recorded before the Hibs and Rangers game. So yeah, so I'll speak to you all soon. Hell hell, give me your comments below. Speak to you all soon.